Alright, who's ready to fly? Yeah! Hey, welcome to Main Stars with Foam Fighters, Smooth from Marshall. I got Danny here. Um, today we're going to do something pretty cool. Danny is uh, working on his senior engineering project. Uh, the, uh, what are we even, what are you even calling it? Don't really, it doesn't really have a name right now. And so what's the idea of the project? Um, so the idea of the project is basically um, put a camera and FPV unit on an RC car, have that being carried by a quadcopter, uh, used for reconnaissance and that sort of thing. So get into some pretty remote areas that necessarily a northern Colorado Bomb Squad team couldn't get to. Um, they need something on the ground, but they also don't want to give it away by aerial shots. So maybe dropping it off behind scenes and letting the car drive to the initial area. He's got a tough task at hand. Northern Colorado Bomb Squad is actually going to come out and um, view his product when it's complete um, at the end of the year. So you've got, you know, February, March, April, May to get this thing going. And how's the quad coming along? Um, so the quads, it's coming. Uh, it's a little bit of a slow start, but uh, we've got some of our frame put together. Um, got our, our motors, that sort of thing. Still need a little bit more electronics, but uh, I'll oh, get yeah, the ESCs. Yeah. Um, it's, it's pretty awesome. So today we're just going to test out the FPV system of what we plan to use as as the concept and just see if we can get you know how far we can get away from you and the walls and, and all that kind of stuff to see how far we can get through the walls I guess right yeah so this is the vehicle you're gonna we're gonna use mm -hmm. and what what's the body what's sort um, of so viewers know? this is a, a Traxxas rustler it's an um, it's an older style um, so it's not doesn't look quite the same as the newer ones um, but it's the same same idea do you know the all-up weight of this thing? I haven't weighed it. I don't. And so roughly three pounds, maybe three or four pounds. And then, how much weight can your quadcopter carry? So I think we we calculated that um, at at full thrust, it should be able to carry ten pounds. Ten pounds. Mm -hmm. Okay. So with ten pounds, and that's including not including the quadcopter or is that including the um, that's including all the equipment on the quad so it all that and it can still hold 10 pounds mm -hmm. sweet mm -hmm. well let's take this thing out and, and uh, test out all right. all right I say we go here and then just see how far you like go around the corner or something huh try and go like around the corner yeah okay I, I say go into the cafeteria mm -hmm. and see if you can get down the PE hallway okay that's, I mean, that's pretty far man if that's you could do that without any issues. Yeah, that's really far. That's going to be really far. Let's see. All right, let's drive it around. How's it so far? Uh, so far, so good. A little bit of static. Going into the cafeteria now. Okay. So the cafeteria is... No, we're still good. Cafeteria is about 100 feet, right? 100 feet from here? Oh, it's getting really good now. Can you, are you lost control or what? No, nope, I've still got control. It's just where are you at right now? I I'm like halfway into the cafeteria. That's all? Yeah. I turned around. I'm coming back now. And I wonder if I wonder too if it'll be different with the brick walls. Probably. That's pretty cool though, huh? Try going out this way. Maybe 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 the stage and all that stuff. We'll go that way. Tomorrow we'll get shots of that. Mm -hmm. So I'm almost at the front door. And it's staticky? It's pretty staticky. Mm -hmm. Do you want to see it? Yeah. Oh wow. How do you back up? Oh, wait, that's four? Or is that back? Pulling it back. That's oh, here four. we go. There's people walking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was freaking everybody out in the cafeteria. Oh, that's a blast, dude. Are you kidding me? This is awesome. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I mean, just from us. Oh, 
good. Oh, back it up. It's, uh, I think for the concept, I think for your for the concept of it, I think it'll be it'll be it'll be good enough. Yeah. I mean, I, w I wonder if it would be even better if you're outside. If, if it's open, you know, the transmitter and receiver have an open view to each other, it's going to be a lot better, obviously. But, right. Um, being surrounded by concrete and brick walls doesn't help. Right. But, that, I mean, that could be the situation that we're going to have to mm -hmm. demo this for those guys. You're going to have to have, I mean, we're going to have pipe to do it here. Right. Right. Unless we can go out to their training facility. Now, that would be really fun. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, well, um, that that was fun. I mean, even though we're just we're riding the car and stuff, I mean, it's it's going to be a cool cool project to see it all in its fidelity. But um, we got a lot more money to spend on those ESCs for the for the, the um, quadcopter and stuff, and and also figuring out the the release mechanism and all that. It's it's going to be it's going to be difficult. I don't know how how much uh, time you got put into this, but you're gonna have to put away some time because it's gonna be one heck of a project. So, yeah, definitely. Other than that, we'll uh, stay tuned with Danny and his uh, quad recon project. Unmanned vehicle. Yeah, thing. unmanned vehicle thing, so cool. <laughs> Thanks for watching.